don't see myself. Oh, fine. Your job as an undercover agent is to get someone's trust, hold on to that, and then break that trust. When you go through undercover training, you're taught about issues like role reversal, Stockholm Syndrome, forgetting who you really are. The adrenaline of being undercover, bringing these people down, I mean, it's definitely a high of sorts. They definitely become addicted to that. And then you gotta go back into the regular life, which is not as easy, which is not as exciting. It must be so incredibly hard to draw the line, you know, what's you, what's fake. Even though I was a veteran agent, I had never done undercover work, which I was learning from Amir and from Bob. <laughs> Bob Mazur was able to justify what he was doing because the end justifies the means. What the psychologists look for is a person who has a mental definition that is black and white, right and wrong, because you need to keep that person well grounded. It's very easy to go down a slippery slope. There is something about the excitement of this world in his work world that he can't bring excitement home with him. I had come home from being undercover for a while and my sister-in-law said, God, he's starting to look like him and act like them. You have to step into the gray a little bit to be authentic. And that's part of the moral dilemma for his character. Just how far to that side can he go and still maintain the principle of who he is? Even though I don't care, I'm a human being. I was doing my job. They're breaking the law. I'm sorry. When this is over, you're going to go to jail, and I'm going to go home. I know these people. You got to play with them. You got to drink with them. You got to do everything you got to do, man. <laughs>